The church is the people. It always has been. So I invite you to listen to a story from our church, a story of the people from Gloria Day. Um, my name is Melissa Brandt, and I'm the Transitions and Fostering Connections Coordinator for Rochester Public Schools. And I'm Erin Vasquez. I'm the Community School Site Facilitator for John Marshall High School. Really the main part of my job is to see what things the school really needs and to try to go out into the community to try to make good matches for how the community might connect with the school to best serve our students and families. I work with three kind of basic populations. The first being students and families experiencing homelessness. And then I work with students who may be in the foster care system. And then my third piece is working with uh, our Title I elementary schools where we have high poverty, highly diverse populations to make sure that we're serving and meeting the needs and advocacy needs of all three of those populations. Like geographically, Gloria Day is very close to us and they're probably our most kind of steadfast partner. For me, the church is peace of mind. That's what Gloria Day brings to me. If I am in desperate need of support for clothing for kids, um, Threads is a great resource. Or most recently, we've had a group of kids where we haven't been able to get a breakfast resource yet. So the church has supported this small group of students with breakfast. And I can think of one really concrete example where a teacher um, brought a student down to me and said, I don't know what's going on with this student, but I know something's going on. And it turned out that student was sleeping in his car and he was really afraid to ask for help. And not that long before, Josh had given me these bags. He said, these bags are meant for students who are sleeping in their car. And there was like candles and flashlights and some food and mittens. And I gave that to that student and he just felt so cared for that somebody, sorry, I feel even choked up thinking about it. Somebody had thought in advance that these are the things he might need to feel a little bit better about sleeping in his car. And it was really meaningful for that student and for me to know that the church thought of that. Yeah, and I have a story about a little elementary student who we were able to get some snow pants for. And um, the teacher actually shared this story because um, she, the student ran up to her and hugged her and she said, I didn't get the snow pants for you. And he said, yes, but you asked someone who did. <laughs> and so even at the little, an age of an elementary student, it was like a really powerful, beautiful moment. And it's the difference that for that student to get to play outside, you know? So um, that's one of the beautiful moments that Gloria Day provided. I think the thing that's really great about Gloria Day is like they came to us and they said, we want to help, how can we help? And really anything that I've brought to them, Gloria Day has figured out a way to support that. The wonderful thing about Gloria Day is that um, for our students, you know, they're, they may not be connected to the church, but Gloria Day is providing a really important link so that potentially someday that you know, would be a, a, a soft place to land again for a kiddo who maybe right now doesn't have that in their life. Gloria Day is a generous community that rises to meet whatever challenge is set before us. In the last two years alone, we've been able to provide much needed health benefits and more adequate compensation in support of our gifted and dedicated staff. But 2020 has been a year like none other. We've done ministry masked and from a safe distance. We are a church without walls but we still have walls to care for and maintain so that we can thrive during the pandemic and beyond. Here's what that means for us now. Our goal is to increase giving to our operational budget by $2,600 per week or $135,000 per year. This will allow us to develop our virtual life together and support our growing online presence, video offerings, communication needs, equipment, and more. This will also allow us to address our physical life together repairing our lower level parking lot and the roof of our worship center. Finally, it will allow us to maintain ministry excellence by continuing to provide health benefits and adequate compensation for staff and meet the rising costs of recurring expenses. These are challenging times, but altogether, Gloria Day can meet the challenges that have been placed before us. Here's what you can do next. By November 17th, you should receive a statement of intent card in the mail. Think pray, and discern how God might be calling you to grow in generosity. Then on Commitment Sunday, fill out your intent card and mail it to the church. Drop it off November 23rd to the 25th, or fill out a digital version on the website. We love Gloria Day and are passionate about our community. 
All together, we are a church without walls, united as one community, trusting that God is with us each step of the way.